Hello everyone, this is Tuchodora. Welcome to my June bullet journal spread. I didn't do May one, but I'm trying to do regularly. So let's don't focus on the May and focus on the June. This month I'm gonna go with Black Berry theme, as you understand from the cover picture probably. Why I decided to go for that, I'm not quite sure actually. When I think of my childhood memories, there were a moment that we were collecting blackberries with my mom and I was just eating them actually, not collecting. It wasn't going that far. The moment I took it from the bushes, I was just eating directly. <laughs> so you couldn't name it collecting. Anyway, they were like a, such a memory in my mind and it reminds me this summerish feeling. Even though I live in Brazil and we are entering the winter, I overall think that June is a welcoming summer month as I grow up in Turkey and that's the month, the school finish, sun comes out, you go to holidays, get rid of every annoying things, which is school, but I'm talking about. <laughs> so. I wanted to go for someone with a like nice feeling in it and as you realize if you are watching my other videos I try to go for different and original ideas time to time at least so when I check the June Bonnet journals to find an ideas there were lots of watermelons, strawberries etc and I only did the strawberries yeah sometimes when I've had nothing I just go for very simple ideas but this one looks um, I don't know cuter eccentric interesting whatever you call it, it looks so beautiful and I was thinking to go for berries overall and I was doing the sketches, I realized the blackberries are the most beautiful looking one I was just like, okay, fuck other berries, I'm gonna go for the black one and here I am and whenever I google blackberries to find like reference images to understand the nature of this fruit there were lots of font came out here, yeah. my generation probably understand those blackberries uh, moment and when it comes out it was huge 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 but then I think it disappeared I don't know if it still exists whatever so here I am painting my blackberries with my watercolor the journal I'm using I have no idea what the brand is but I think on one of my previous videos like three video before or something I did the like package opening with you and show the brand there and it's nothing so fancy or complicated, it just have dots and the papers are not so thin so I can use watercolor without destroying the other pages. And the watercolor I use is Minster and Newton Cotton series 48 or 44 or 42 to 46, I'm not sure, somewhere in 40 blah blah color set that I'm using actually over 7-8 years now. I mean of course I'm not using the same set for over 8 years now, I'm painting time to time, <laughs> but I was using a smaller version of it and my husband thinks that I really love it, so the moment I was about to finish it and go for other brand to try it, I was excited. He bought me a bigger version of it, so probably I stuck with this <laughs> watercolor set for another 10 years. <laughs> I don't mind though, I have a couple of other sets, but I mostly like to try the new ones, change it and, I don't know, have some difference. You know, all those sets have different shades, different colors, different textures also. But I overall like it so much, so it doesn't bother me. And voila, yeah, that's the one I'm using. And the brushes I use actually quite mixed, but one I'm using the most with the orange handle is from Dollar and Roni, round brush. I'm not sure which number it is, but doesn't matter. I mean, up to your surface, you're gonna decide, I mean, up to the size of your surface, you're gonna decide which size works the best for you. As usual, when I start watercolor, I start with the lightest color possible and go to darker and darker shades. But here my paper is not like 300 watercolor paper, so I cannot do lots of layer. I try to keep it simpler and to draw blackberries, I use anything but black. <laughs> I didn't want to have just this purplish, dark bluish kind of shade. I wanted to mix it with other softer colors, so I use lots of yellow pink, orangish, a little reddish, pinkish, purplish, bluish, and a greenish color all together. Yeah, I know it sounds like I have lots of color, but actually I'm mixing them here and there quite often to don't have them very strong. I want them to be more like soft and faded into each other. And for the moment it looks quite beautiful. After I add my base colors and little details on it, like I apply two layers of watercolor in most of the areas, not everywhere, I'm taking my Pilot g -Tech pen. It's quite thin, that's the only feature this pen has, but I quite like it. So I'm adding some details on it. I could have just leave it with the watercolor and add the 
details and the shades with the watercolor as well but I like to have this border line kind of style on it so I was thinking actually to use the pen on some areas and the leave some areas faded but I just lost myself and <laughs> use it more or less everywhere <laughs> but i mean it doesn't really bother me i didn't do too 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 much which i tend to do quite often well you know what i'm doing i already explained the overall process let's talk about june what's going on a lot of you i think finishing schools going to holidays having some exams maybe i'm wishing you a good luck and amazing summer on my side for the June, I have very exciting plan. We are planning to head to Peru finally. That was like, I'm saying finally because it's been two years we are trying to go there, but we are quite bad at planning vacations. I know we mentally prepare ourselves and the last one week we are booking everything. And sometimes we just book the first two days. And once we are there, we are keep booking the next uh, cities, next hotel. And I quite like it. But it doesn't work for Peru because we are planning to do Inca Trail to Machu Picchu, which is a four days trek going up to Machu Picchu. But you gotta book it in advance, like two, three months before, because there's a limited person allowance per day. And it's almost all the time full, especially the summer period, I mean the summer in Europe. So for last two years, whenever we wanted to go there, it was always booked. And this time we are a month in advance, so we are still not quite early, but earlier than before. So that's the plan we are planning to do. In June, we are going to go there, spend two weeks, have lots of hype, hate this decision. Swear to myself, why the fuck I do such a thing <laughs> to torture after after four days of hike. <laughs> but I'm quite excited for it. It helps me to make healthier decisions. Okay, we made this decision two days ago, so it doesn't it haven't been that long. But I realize my month's mindset is already thinking this hike and trying to more focus on the gym and a healthy living and keep myself sober and alive to do hikes in the mornings. So I think beginning of the month is going to be more like focusing the other hikes, doing little hikes on the weekends, prepared for the big hike. And other half of the month, as I say, going to be on the vacation. So I'm quite, quite excited. What are your plans? What you guys going to do? Yeah, I usually don't talk that much in my English videos. I think I'm not super comfortable speaking in English, especially that Maybe some of you know that I have a Turkish channel and I'm quite comfortable <laughs> speaking in Turkish as it's my mother language. And in English, sometimes I stuck with the words. I don't remember what was these words and how to describe it. So I wasn't feeling super, super comfortable. That's why I'm mostly putting like background music and let you watch the watch my drawing while enjoying. I hope enjoying. I mostly choose calm, calming music. But today I feel chatty. I have no idea why loneliness maybe yeah <laughs> well i spend lots of time speaking turkish lately maybe i miss speaking english somehow that doesn't happen so often anyway so if you have exciting plans or if you have not exciting plans if you don't have plans also whatever june has for you i would like to know i don't know why but i like to know that what people doing on the other side of the world what exciting or not exciting or boring or super boring things going on i hope it's mostly exciting too anyway let's talk about what i am doing here as you saw i use my pilot pen for a while then i leave it and i wanted to do more painting on the other side as i planned in the beginning but then i couldn't stand so i took my pen back and probably gonna use it all over this painting but actually you, you could just leave it like how my right side is looking just with the watercolor it looks quite nice also i quite like it actually but it's too light for me so i'm gonna go with the pen till the end to add the details and shades you saw that i use darker darker shades which i assume my lights is coming from right side so the left side of the berries are darker and as you see i didn't use only same shade or same color for all the berries well if you ever seen a bush of berries you might have realized not all the berries are ready in the same time they are not like ha ha we are ready you can come and pick us up in the same day so there will be some reddish more pinkish and more yellowish whitish ones the new ones and some flowers as well the flowers usually white mine supposed to be like white also but i don't know what happened in this moment like my brain just Errored and stopped working fine not fun and I just paint them more like pinkish brownish and this one on the left like I don't know what happened there. It's like a black hole. I really want to like destroy this flower. It looks so ugly, but let's let's call it lucky charm over there I mean, 
we in Georgia we say that if there's something bad in a beautiful uh, thing, it's kind of protect you from the other bad things supposed to happen. Like it's kind of karma of it, balance the beautiful on the right side. Yeah, I'm quite humble, I know, right? Let's don't focus on that part then. Anyway, after I use my pen all around, I'm putting my title. And I use kind of like jelly belly, uh, fetish, cutish kind of font here and use my pen to put some shades underneath because it was super light and then I'm splashing some watercolor around to make it more dutty dutty like on the background maybe there are some more berries going on and to have this watercolor effect and like fading effect a bit more I quite like it Here I come to end of the first page. I quite like it. It's giving me like a cute smile. I hope you like it also. Let's jump onto the next page. Here I often put like a giant calendar of the month, which I plan everything. Like I put my appointments, I write down the notes. I am sometimes planning my week ahead and noting that what I'm gonna do on these days on these giant boxes. So for me, it's super, super useful. Sometimes I'm using this template and going for different ones to have I don't know, some different things on my videos, but eventually I'm coming back to this one. It's like, ah, Twitcher, why the fuck you changed it? It was super useful before, so I'm coming back to this one. And this month I didn't even try to force it like to go for something else. So I'm gonna have a similar one, probably some of you already saw on my journals before. But first I'm starting with the carrying the berry theme on the second page also. I'm not gonna do much, but I just wanna have a little sense of the theme on this page also. So where I'm putting the title on the left upside, I'm putting some berries around also. I start with the base color, then darker shades, and then I'm gonna use my pen to add little details around it. I divided my sections. As you see, the boxes are super huge. I didn't leave almost any gap around, so I can have enough space to put any notes I need to, and mostly I end up filling them all. After that, I am using watercolor to put a base to don't have just the number randomly, have this dotty dotty very very effect all around the page, and writing down the date on it. And I'm putting a little heart on the 13 because it's my nipple's birthday on the 13. And voila! Here I come to the end of this page also. As you see, it's cute, simple and useful. But okay, let's go back to left side and add some more berries on the background because June is quite faded and the berries are kind of covering it. So I have to add something on the background to bring the June a bit forward. Okay, it looks better like this. It has more 3D effect. Whatever, let's jump onto the next page. This page is where I plan kind of everything and track down everything. I am changing the setup of these pages time to time, but mostly I'm having my targets, creative ideas, things to do, habit tracker, sometimes highlight of the month. It really depends what the next month looking like, what I might need. But here I'm gonna have targets on the left top side which i'm gonna put monthly targets i'm always putting like simple targets to have this feeling of accomplishment encourage myself to do something that i wanted to do for a while and postpone for maybe years so it kind of triggers me it kind of push me it kind of motivates me to do the things that i was keep postponing and beside it i'm gonna put a youtube section to continue the youtube videos regularly because I had a gap then I come back then another gap and I come back and for the moment I'm not working so I have lots of time to focus on YouTube so why not using this time to do more videos and then below it there will be must section this is the things that I yeah must do <laughs> and I don't want to forget but I don't know today so I cannot put it on the boxes that I just draw on the previous page so I'm writing down here everything that I must do during the month and 
placing them on the calendar when I know the dates of them. But the first, I'm starting with the decoration. I didn't want to do the berries again, so instead of it, I kind of designed a washi tape kind of look with the berry design on it. I would actually use washi tape if I had with the berries. You can go for it if you have one. But here I made like little pieces of the tapes with some colorful berries inside. They are a bit faded for the moment, but I'm gonna add some more details when once they are dry. Whatever, on the right side of this page, I'm gonna have my habit tracker, which I track my food, like the day I eat clean, healthy food, whole meal food. Under it is gym, the days that I work out, gym or tennis or walk or bicycle, whatever it is. Under that is Maya, the third program I'm using, so I wanna use it regularly. Below that, there's calm. That's the day I meditate, yoga, have a walk, do something to calm my mind. And blow that is language because I am trying to try to learn <laughs> Portuguese and I want to track it down because I'm not tend to do it regularly I'm having classes now but I'm only studying the day before classes to don't feel so humiliated in front of the teacher <laughs> but I want to do it on a regular basis like at least every two days so we will see if it's gonna help on the right side of the section there is one called thanks actually it's like what I'm thankful to it's to remind myself what I have in my life and I should be thankful and focus on those things and underneath I had a section for especially for this month's trips as I told you that we are gonna travel a bit, so I would like to have a section that I not done to take us the hotel information, places to see, the budget information, whatever I need. I thought that it could be useful to have such a section here. Anyway, after I divided my sections, put my titles, I am finalizing my washi tape kind of looking things. And I'm using my white gel pen here also to add some more like brightness on the berries to make them a bit more 3D. They were too faded. And I think it ended up not so bad. I quite like it. It's simple and colorful. It gives me this like, ah, you look so cute kind of vibe. Uh, voilà. Here I come to the end of this video. I hope you guys like watching and listening to it. Let me know what you are thinking. If you do the same design, please send them to me on Instagram. I would like to see your versions. Have an amazing June. Ciao!